A really fantastic brunch food is mushroom and spinach quiche, and you're in luck because that's exactly what I'm making today. And not only is it delicious and custardy, it comes together in no time at all. Let me show you how to do it. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. So we're gonna start off by sauteing some mushrooms here. We're gonna heat up the pan. Let's get a little butter into the pan. Let's go in with some mushrooms. A really great herb that'll complement the earthiness of mushrooms is thyme. Now I went to a garden store and bought fresh thyme that's alive and I planted it. And that way it keeps giving me free flavor. All right, we've got some fresh thyme. All right, let's get the thyme in. I'm adding some garlic to the pan now. Sliced onions also going in. I'm coming in with some salt. We're just gonna let this do its thing. Now it's time to make our filling, and of course the base of that is eggs. I got half a dozen eggs here. We're just gonna start cracking these in. I'm adding in some heavy cream right now, and this is gonna turn our baked eggs into more of a custard, which I think is ideal. We're gonna add some Swiss cheese. A lot of time a quiche has Emmental in it. This is a really similar flavor for a lot less money. And I'm gonna use my box grater, and I'm gonna go on the fat side here so that we get pockets of cheese. We've got our chopped up spinach right here. It's advisable to chop it up a little bit. So we got a lot of really rich flavors in here. We need something to cut through. Dijon mustard is perfect. It's my secret ingredient, and it's gonna add some extra zing. To the packet drawer! Let's get ready to whisk it! With the Struggle Whisk 7500. We've got our mushroom and onion mixture. It's been cooked down pretty good. We're gonna go right into the eggs with it. So we just wanna stir those mushrooms and onions in real quick so that the eggs don't cook. We'll hit the whole thing with a little bit of salt and pepper. This is like the last step. All right, I've got a store-bought pie crust right here, and we're gonna go right in. Look at this. Okay, groovy. So we're just gonna put this right onto a sheet tray. That way, if there's any egg overflowing or anything like that, we don't have to clean our oven. We only have to clean a tray, and that's smart. We're gonna start cooking at a high temperature so the crust gets nice and brown, and then we'll lower the temperature so the eggs cook through without overcooking. This looks really fantastic, and it smells even better. And now we cut. I'm gonna pierce the center ever so slightly and come to the edge. Ba -ba -ba. Da -da -da. Quiche is really delicious, but I think it's even better when it's served with a simple green side salad. Like this one right here. Let's put a little salad right here. This looks really good, and I'd be really excited to eat it at any brunch, and it comes to only $2.84 a serving. Let's dig in. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Really, really delicious, and it's very, very buttery and creamy at the same time, but not in an overpowering way. And we have these really earthy fillings on the inside, the mushroom and the spinach with that mild cheese. It's absolute perfection. And then when you pair that with a green side salad, you get a zing. You've got this acidic salad and this creamy, fantastic quiche. This one's perfect for a celebration brunch. 